This video discusses the workflow for how to convert a large Unreal Engine 4 landscape height map into a world composition tile set. Depending on the video game level design, the use of a single large 4033 or 8129 landscape may not be optimal or desired. Instead, a tile set of 505, 1009 or 2017 may be required by the design documents. It is possible and quite easy to convert a single 4033 or 8129 landscape pipe map into a world composition tile set. First off, we need to look at how the large single height map will be split into tiles and whether the large height map has to be cropped or resampled. The default world composition tile sizes that fit to large landscapes are as follows. These values are all using recommended landscape sizes for the tiles, which I highly recommend doing even with world composition. Note that the tiles have shared edges, which is why we subtract the number of tiles minus one from the total width. So we can see by these values that we can easily change a 4033 landscape height map into a 505 by eight tile set, a 1009 by four tile set, or a 2017 by two tile set. To convert an 8129 height map into a 2x2, 4x4 or 8x8 set will require cropping or resampling the 8129 height map to the size of 8065 before tiling. Now that the tile dimensions are determined, we need to export the current high resolution height map out of the current landscape actor. To do this in the Unreal Editor, select the landscape mode, locate the height map item in the layers, right click on it and choose export. Export the height map to a PNG 16-bit grayscale file. PNG files are much easier to work with than RAW files. Export the height map to a temporary folder on the computer. Go to TerraSculptor and import the PNG height map that was just exported out of the Unreal Engine. If you are working with a 4033 height map, you can proceed right to splitting it into tiles. If this is an 8129 height map that we are working with, we will first need to crop or resample it to 8065 for the tile set we are using. I prefer to resample, so let's resample the 8129 height map to 8065 for this tutorial video, which is a 2017 by 4 tile set. If you prefer a different tile set size, adjust the 8129 height map dimensions as required. Open the tile creator on the create menu. For this example, we will create a 2017 4x4 tile set from an 8065 height map. Click on the fetch button to get the current editor height map into the tile creator. Set the width tile count to four. Set the height tile count to four. Enable the share the edges checkbox. Set the XY naming to X0Y0 format. Visually inspect the preview and the tile properties for correct naming and layout. On the output file box, click on the browse button to browse to a temporary folder where we can save the tile files. Use the same temporary folder as the original height map. Save the tiles as PNG format 16-bit images. Inspect the temporary folder to make sure that the 4x4 tile set is there. If this were a new height map that we were tiling in TerraSculptor, we would first rotate it 90 degrees clockwise before splitting it into tiles, since TerraSculptor and Unreal Engine 4 have different forward orientations. We can see by comparing the TerraSculptor default camera top view to the Unreal Engine editor or world composition top view, that Unreal Engine is rotated 90 degrees clockwise. Delete the original large single landscape actor by locating the landscape in the world outliner or click on the landscape to select it and press delete.
On the World Outliner, click on the World Settings panel on the right and enable World Composition. On the Window menu, click on the Levels item to display the Levels dialog. On the Levels menu, click on the Import Tiled Landscape item. This brings up the dialog to import the tiles. Browse for the tile files and select all of them. Set the Flip Y to Off. If this was a new height map, you may also wish to adjust the Z-Scale factor to a lower value such as 50 or 75 before importing. We can see that our tiled terrain is loaded. Select each tile map, right click and load them all. The terrain should appear in the positive XY quadrant of the world. The Kill Z will have to be adjusted as the terrain is almost always significantly lower than the default Kill Z, so change it from minus 1000 to minus 15000. On the Window menu, choose the Levels item to display the Levels dialog and click on the Summon World Composition to display the Overview dialog. This overview allows selecting of individual tiles, repositioning of tiles and other functions. An in-depth multi-part video series on TerraSculptor to World Composition will be on the channel soon.